Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm gonna take you through a huge range of aquarium products from a brand known as Octo. All right, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. Now, today I am going to continue on with my interview of some of the vendors from Reef Stock Sydney, where I had the opportunity to meet the CEO of Octo, or possibly a company that you previously known as Reef Octopus. Now, I had a fantastic chat with Derek, as well as George, the Australian distributor. And let me tell you, George is absolutely born to be in front of the camera, so I could not help but put a mic on the man and get him to take him through some of the huge and diverse range of Octo products that he brings into the country. And let me tell you, they carry products that suit nano home aquariums all the way up to some huge commercial and farming applications, which is always a good sign in my books when I'm looking for products for my own dream reef tanks. So I figured there's probably not much more to say other than to roll the footage and let's see how George goes. All right, guys, I'm here with George from Aquariums Australia, and he's going to tell us all about the range of Octo that he's got here at Reefstock Sydney. So, um, George, thanks for taking the time, man. Can we um, have a look at some of these incredible products you've got to show us today? Absolutely. So today we're featuring our Octo brand. Um, Octo is just a very prestigious, well-known name. Some may be more familiar with the whole Reef Octopus and uh, the rebranding over to Octo about eight years ago when they brought out their new pump designs. Um, the claim to fame for Octo, they're a company since 2005. Uh, they're the very first manufacturer to have their own in-house pump production line. Uh, yeah, so right. all of their pumps are built in-house and they've been specifically designed with their products. Uh, BRS actually did a review on DC pumps back in 2019. Yes. And they rated the Varios pump as the number one DC pump in all the comparisons yeah, that yeah. they did. So they're just exceptional quality. Uh, you can feel that when you look at the product. Uh, even from the controllers, they've got a really nice touch and feel to them. The controllers are absolutely incredible. Like this one up here, they've they got a real nice build quality. Got a zero to 10 volt input. You've got good feet, nice proper buttons that you can actually press. Really nice controller, which just for me yeah. makes makes a DC pump really. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so their Varios pumps are very compact, but very powerful at the same time. And yeah, uh, you see the size of that pump. Like that's a big skimmer there. It's not a ridiculous sized pump there. And that's, I mean, as you say, they build these pumps in-house for these skimmers. Yes. So like it's suited for it. It's not something they've picked off a shelf from somewhere else. Absolutely. So just to give you an idea, when you buy a Varios pump, it comes with all your fittings and all your bits and pieces, including union joints for easy attachment, nice. removal, big power supply, strainer guard for yep, yep. your pump. In addition, what you also get inside with the Varios pumps is all of them come with float sensors. Wow. So you can mount them with a mounting bracket as well. Also that included. They all come complete. Yep. Yeah, so there's no additional extras that you need to oh, buy for these incredible. pumps. So you get the union, you get the, the guard for the intake of the pump, you get the float switch, you even get the mount for the float switch, literally everything you need to set this pump up for its yeah. best performance. Yeah, if you've got a free hand or not, this is a Varios 8 pump. It's a 10,000 litre per hour pump. Wow. And just feel the sheer weight yeah, the, as my father-in-law would say, he's famous for saying, feel the weight in that dial. It's a, um, it's a compact pump, but there's some, there's some beef to it. It's a solid bit Absolutely. of kit. Absolutely. Easy removal. The magnets themselves are encased in um, a rare earth magnet. So yep. they use high quality material for building them. Ceramic shaft, but they're all encased. Uh, the other feature that you'll find with their pumps is they've got this water jet opening inside them. So the water circulates all the way through to the rear bearing. Yes. So it just ensures the pump's getting proper lubrication. But for a, a pump that pumps 10,000 litres, uh, and this has a head height of about six metres. Wow. Yeah, and six metres. Yes. Not six feet. No. <laughs> six and metres. When Octo rate their pumps, they underrate them. So their pumps are actually rated around 80% of their actual capacity. Sure. Because we know with pumps over about a two year period, you do get a slight drop off in that performance. Yeah, yeah. So that's all taken into account. Yeah, yeah. That um, same mentality has also been used with the design of all their skimmers. Right. Um, so look, we've been in this game for 23 years. We've been doing this for a long time. I've seen a lot of technology come and go over that time. 
I've been a hobbyist myself. I've trialled and used numerous brands over all of that time as well. And when I look at the physical body, when I look at the actual size pumps that they use in their equipment, you know that the, the suggested tank rating for them is always underestimated. Yeah, yeah. So you can be rest assured, if it says it's a skimmer to do 600 litres, it'll uh, well exceed that yeah. volume of water. It's going to do 600 litres at a very high stocking level without breaking a sweat. Right, yeah. right. And they may even give you several options for what the density of stocking levels are. Yeah, yeah. So um, on the boxes you'll find that there'll be a rating for a light, a medium, or a heavy density. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Which, I mean, always makes sense because rating a skimmer to a litre volume doesn't make sense. You could have one clownfish in there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or you could have it stocked full of, you know, high waste predator fish. Yeah. Definitely. So they're Ranger skimmers. Um, they've, they've been a, a model. They're a bit like a 911 in the yeah. sense that not a lot has changed over the years, but there yeah. have been those subtle differences and improvements that have been made to just continue working on the same model but improving it as we go. So um, the Regal skimmer for example is an old classic that you'll find that started back in about 2005 and used to be called the Diablo. Yes. Uh, most commonly known in the US market as the Diablo and the Regal is also known as the replacement for that Diablo. The major upgrade that's happened to this skimmer over time is it's gone from an AC pump to a DC pump and that again was with that whole rebranding from Reef Octopus moving into Octo. The Regal is probably your best entry level skimmer if you've got the budget. Yep. Uh, so DC is always my preferred option when we come to skimmers for the simple reason being that with an AC skimmer we only have one means of being able to adjust the skimmer and that's with retention time, the water circulating through the body. So we use the gate valve in order to regulate the retention time and the skimmer height whether we want wet or dry skimming. But the air intake and the amount of air that's agitated into the skimmer body remains consistent. For sure. The benefit of using a DC pump is we now get two options of being able to control a micro bubble. A micro bubble is an electrically charged molecule or, or particle that binds itself with waste products within the system. It's what and where the efficiency of a skimmer actually comes from. So with a DC skimmer we can now therefore adjust the size of the agitation of the micro bubble as well as use the gate valve to adjust the retention time of the water circulating through the body. Definitely. With that additional feature, the DC skimmers just offer a superior performance and efficiency that you just can't get with an AC skimmer. Put it in. And this guy here, this, this Regal 150 internal, it's kitted out with some pretty nifty little features too, not just the DC pump. One of the things that caught my eye, first of all, you can see the uh, overflow switch built into it there, so it's not going to you have something go crazy in your tank or you put some epoxy in when you're gluing corals, you're busy focusing from the top down of the tank. You don't then come finish the job up and find your skimmers overflowed. If it does go crazy, it's going to turn itself off. And the other thing that caught my eye is over the side here, we've got this perfect little built-in recirculation thing here for the uh, Octo CO2 scrubber. So you can build it so that it just pulls that air through the skimmer, maximizes the efficiency out of your media, which is yep. super cool. This is actually a world first, so you're super getting cool. a uh, scoop on this, on this product line here. <laughs> uh, this is a new CO2 scrubber, uh, which is the latest release from Octo. They're actually formally being released at Macna in about a month's time. Yep. Um, so we've been fortunate enough to get a, a sneak peek and <laughs> a grab on this Macna before it's arrived. Here. Yeah. Now, many manufacturers make a CO2 scrubber. There's nothing really complex behind it. It's no. a means of putting a media inside the reactor, polish that air as it's going through, remove the CO2 from it to get better aeration, better oxygen content. What makes this reactor unique is that you can use it in a closed circuit. Yeah. So the lid that you pointed out over here is an aftermarket accessory. Mm -hmm. You can get that uh, either uh, additionally to the CO2 scrubber, or yes. you can use a CO2 scrubber standalone on its own. The CO2 scrubber as a standalone on its own will just have this outlet here that will go through the air intake venturi and operate that way. The major benefit of this unit being a sealed reactor is we can therefore get the associated sized cup lid that will fit each of the different models and from there we can now take the air from the top of the skimmer and recirculate it back through the actual reactor. Yeah. What I like about this is particularly in areas like apartments or if you've got a really dry skim mate, you've got a really smelly 
unit that's making you want to heave when you take it to the sink to clean it. We can now double this reactor up and use activated carbon at the same time yeah, to right. remove smells. Yeah. Uh, so it just makes a more happy environment for everybody within the household. It's and no one whinging about factor, that. Uh, key factor to reef keeping, <laughs> keeping sure. Everyone in the house is as happy with the reef tank as you are. Yes, and as you already pointed out, with the DC skimmers, you've got the float sensor yeah. like with the return pumps that comes as the additional item. And it's just built in, no additional purchase. Just... All, all in the same package all together. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. The other nice feature as well is these gate valves. Yeah, I was having a look at that before. It's got a real nice, uh, very fine adjustment. You can see one on this one here as well. Yes got this really nice adjustment on there so you can really dial that perfect water height in. Yeah, very smooth um, and accurate settings yeah. on it. Uh, whereas stand pipes can be a little bit more hit and miss. Yes. And, and trying to find that sweet spot of where it was. Definitely. Um, I personally, I always like to run my skimmer down, yep. open up the gate valve to take the cup away. I don't like getting all that spillage over the side of my body. Yes. It just means I need to pull it out and clean that. Yes. So um, I always run them down, take the cup away for cleaning, bring it back, and then you want to return it back to where it was. You want it to be back exactly where it was, not roughly where it was. Yes. <laughs> exactly. And so it brings it us to one easy. of the more recent um, yeah. additions, which has actually been around for a couple of years now. Okay. Um, this is the Essence 130, which we're really highlighting and featuring at this show today. Yeah, beautiful. This has brought about some new um, features of the unit that makes it a lot more user friendly. And while we're focusing at the moment on adjusting the skimmer, what I love about this particular model is the dial here. That's something fancy, hey? So the dial works in incremental steps. So we've got a wet model over here behind us. Sure. We'll come and take a look. So for example, I can take a look at where the setting is currently sitting. Yes. Let's say that's number seven. Yep. I'll open the skimmer up. Let the water level drop a little bit. Take the cup away for cleaning. Easy removal of the cup too. Easy removal, nice O-ring seal and a lockdown clamp. Put the cup back on again. Dull it back in. Turn it back to exactly where it was and my job's done. So much better than turning the skimmer off, having it then empty everything down into the sump and then yes. you have to try and get it back up. It always takes a little while to stabilize again. Yeah. It's... This keeps it running, it basically just puts it into idle. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I never like turning my skimmers off no, because I always feel whatever work it's done, we're just dropping that. Now we need to recover exactly. the work that had already exactly. been done. Plus, I think it's also a bit harder on the pumps too if you're stopping them. You can just have it just rest for a minute, just idle, keep running. It just yes. seems to get a lot better maintenance yeah. life out of it. It's the old saying, you know, light bulbs only pop when you turn them on and off. Exactly. And our pumps are exactly the same thing. Yeah. That that initial crank that they need to get started and move Definitely. is where you're going to get failures. It's definitely going to be a wear point at least. So the less times you have to do that, the better. Yes. Yeah. Another benefit with the DC pumps is when you turn them on, turn them off, they're soft start. Yeah, nice. So they'll always spool up nice and slow and increase yeah. from there. Some of the other features that you get with the Essence very easy removal, four clips, and we can take our skimmer yeah. away for cleaning. Beautiful. So you can leave, that's plugged in, you can leave that there, take the body away, and then when you want to take the pump out, you don't have to remove the whole body all in one piece if you've got a fairly tight space in your sump. Yeah. You can separate it in sump, pull that out, serves yeah. it there. We're working in tight cavities at the best of time to try and Absolutely. get access to our skimmers. Yeah. So uh, the easier they are to disassemble and remove, no thumb screws there, just sit it back on, push the We're clips done. in. Yeah, beautiful. Last item, and this is a really nice snug fit. So there's no air leakage that you yep. get down yep. around the base of the skimmer. These skimmers are rated up to 600 litres. I've personally been using one of these in one of our showroom displays, a, a 3 by 2 by 2 for the last three plus years, probably closer to four. And um, they're just an absolute little workhorse. It's, it's one of my favourite little skimmers because uh, it's just simplicity at its best and uh, the, the actual efficiency of the amount of waste that we can get out, be it either a wet or a dry skim, has just been more than impressive. So um, I highly recommend these for, for anyone who's looking as a replacement skimmer, uh, just for any of their aquariums up to about a 4 by 2 That's a nice small footprint too, that's going to fit in pretty much any sump. Yeah. It really is. It's a very small footprint, yeah. It's um, particularly some of the all-in-one tanks yeah. that are, are upgraded over time. This is a, a really Good preferred option. pick because of its small footprint. Definitely, definitely. So, 
Octo are not only just known for their domestic range of skimmers, but they also have an entire commercial range. Uh, so this here is just one of those examples. This is what we call the SRO 9000. They are rated up to 15,000 litres. These are mainly used for shop displays, for aquaculture rooms, uh, for we even sell quite a few of these to crab collectors, abalone right. farmers, uh, because literally it's um, the reply and response we got from them was their fatality rates. And when you're bringing two or 300 crabs into a facility in one hit, uh, the, the water turns very sour very, <laughs> very quickly. And um, with crabs particularly, they tend to drop limbs, drop claws, and uh, they, they become very inefficient for the collectors. Uh, so the first time we supplied one of these to a crab collector, um, within the next six weeks or so, we got phone calls from every one of his mates uh, that wanted to come and grab one of the same units because they were just that good. Now, a little trick with skimmers that, that I've come to know over the time um, is that the size of the pump is very relevant to the physical size of the actual skimmer itself. And uh, we'll find that, I'll, I'll give a suggestion to say that little skimmers fitted with little pumps, you'll often find have got a very small neck area in them. Um, it's like the old philosophy of mentality of where some of the old design skimmers used to be very narrow and very tall. And essentially what they're doing is they're driving the same agitation of water up into the top of the collection cup and they're collecting whatever they can within that skimmer column. But they can get away with using low powered pumps to do that. With their skimmer designs and with their pumps built in house, the bubble blasters which are the pumps used on the commercial skimmers are an absolute brick and yeah. workhorse. So this particular unit uses two 10,000 pumps but the trick that I wanted to show you here is the physical internal neck diameter. That's yeah, a beast, isn't it? Now, in order to drive enough skim mate to collect into a cup of this diameter, you need a lot of air injection and yeah. a lot of agitation. This, this physical unit, just to put it in a perspective, <laughs> is... Um, Big enough to fit over your head. And I'll tell you, if you put it on, you can actually hear the ocean. I was going to say, George, and you're not known to have the smallest head out there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that as a Still compliment. Still fitting in there very comfortably. <laughs> and again, just ease of design. So again, saying that, this is still one of the babies. Yeah, right. So when we're talking commercial, we're talking commercial. Yeah, that's we're a baby. talking commercial. <laughs> um, so. The Octo catalogue, for example, these are downloadable yep. directly off the reefoctopus.com website. Sure. I'll put the link in the description. Brilliant. Uh, they've got all the schematics of all their products, they've Great. got all of the dimensions, they show you all the componentry, the bits and pieces that come with it. But the, the catalogue is just extensive. Definitely. There is literally a skimmer for every single application and every single budget you could possibly think of. Fantastic. Um, the Q6 is a model that we keep on hand at all times. Wow, nice. They're rated up to 30,000 litre systems. Great. And um, the reason why we keep a model in stock is that literally we've sold several of these items that yep. the demand for them is there, that yep. we have complete confidence in keeping a skimmer of this sort of value yep. in stock. To give you an idea, the retail sort of cost of a skimmer like this is around the 20 grand mark. Okay. When you're talking something of that sort of size, that's quite an affordable option, really. Some of the other things they do as well that people aren't familiar <coughs> with. We do a light reactor. The light reactor comes in two sizes. There's a couple of features of the light reactor that I really like as well. These little toggles on the side of them that enable you to just keep it nice and neat without having to physically take it away right, from the right. body. You can actually sit you it up on the body, yeah. Spill water around all over the place. It has a dimmable LED. Now the feature of the dimmable LED works in hand with the translucent body. So knowing the intensity of lighting that you're running, there's a time we've got to harvest right. the keto out of our reactors in order to keep them running at their best. So we can gauge by the transparency and the amount of light that's coming through the side of the body as to what's going on internally. Yeah, yeah. So after we harvest our keto, we turn the light down and as the keto starts to grow again, we can turn up the intensity. 
and as our keto fills the reactor, it's going to become darker on the outside. It gives yep. us a good indication of when it requires cleaning or Very removal clever. or harvesting again. Very clever indeed. I like yeah. it. There's two sizes. This holds about seven litres in capacity, and the next size up, about an eight inch diameter, holds around 15 litres. Brilliant. Some other toys that we have are calcium reactors. Uh, they do a number of different range and size of calcium reactors, going all the way up to the CR220. Uh, the CR220 is like 11 inches in Serious diameter. Body, yeah. it's, it's a big barrel body. You can fit a lot of media inside it. And uh, again, the fittings and the connections, the, uh, just the whole setup is, is just elegant, very well presented, well designed. Fantastic unit. Brilliant. There's even more products in the Octo range, and um, I'm sure George could take us through the entire catalogue, but uh, for the interests of keeping this video as short as possible, I will link the uh, description, I'll, I'll link the catalogue in the uh, description below so you can check out the full Octo range. And uh, if people are chasing more information, depending where they are, they can obviously contact Octo directly or they can reach out to their local fish shop who can also get in touch with uh, Aquariums Australia as a uh, distributor or wherever you are in the world. So um, thank you so much, George, for taking the time out to take us through thank this super impressive us. range of um, Octo equipment here at Reefstock, Sydney, Australia. Thanks very much. You're most welcome. Thank you. All right, guys, there you have it. That is my interview with George from Aquariums Australia on the Octo range. And let me tell you, that is just literally the top slither of the top of the iceberg Octo have an absolutely massive range of products which you can view on their online catalog which I'll put in the link to in the description below. It's actually got a really nice online viewer which I'll show you on screen now which makes it feel like you're flicking through a physical copy of that catalog right there on your screen. They have skimmers and calcium reactors, algae reactors, CO2 scrubbers, bio pellets, anything you can think of, pumps, they just got it all. So have a good look through their catalog and reach out to your local fish shop if you see something there that tickles your fancy. Anyway, guys, I will wrap the video up there. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to George and Derek, both for making their time available so I could get this information to share with you guys. If you've got any questions, comments, feedback, anything like that at all, please pop in the comment section down below. I do personally reply to each and every comment there, so it is the best way to get hold of me. Other than that, guys, I will leave you with it. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.